When you want to see something clearly, you typically do the opposite of moving. You hold still. You focus. Our intuition tells us that stillness equals clarity. But for a honeybee, stillness is blindness. Its world only sharpens into focus through constant, deliberate motion. This isn't just about moving from one place to another. The bee's flight is a fundamental part of its visual processing system. It doesn't just see with its eyes, it sees with its wings. This concept is called active perception, the idea that sensing is not a passive reception of information, but an active process of inquiry, and the bee is one of its most perfect practitioners. As a bee flies, the world streams past its eyes. This visual motion, known as optic flow, is something we've all experienced looking out the window of a moving vehicle. To us, it's just blur. To a bee, it's a rich language. The speed at which objects in its field of view move across its retina provides precise information about its own speed and its distance from those objects. Faster flow means objects are closer or the bee is moving faster. It's a constant, real-time calculation. Think of it like scrolling through a web page on a screen. The speed of the text moving tells you how fast you're flicking your finger. The bee's brain is hardwired to interpret this data, allowing it to perform incredible feats of aerial navigation, like darting through dense blades of grass without a single collision. This optic flow contains an even more powerful secret, a way to see in three dimensions. This principle is motion parallax. Objects closer to you appear to move much faster than objects far away. To exploit this, bees perform a specific, subtle aerial dance. They make rapid side-to-side -side movements called peering while approaching an object. Each slight shift in position causes the closer objects, like a particular flower petal, to shift dramatically against the background of distant trees. By measuring the magnitude of this shift, the bee's brain computes depth with astonishing accuracy. It's the same principle you use when you hold up a thumb and switch between your left and right eye. But the bee performs this calculation hundreds of times per second. This turns a flat, two-dimensional world of light into a rich, navigable 3D space, allowing for pinpoint landings on targets tossed by the wind. How does a brain smaller than a pinhead process this torrent of motion data? It doesn't, not all of it. Instead, it has evolved highly specialized neurons that act as filters, tuned for specific patterns of optic flow. Neurons in the bee's lobula plate, for instance, are designed to fire only in response to wide field motion, like the entire world seeming to rush past. Different neurons respond to expansion patterns, the signal that you're about to collide with something, while others respond to rotational flow. The bee's flight patterns, like the peering motion, aren't random. They are actively generated to create the cleanest, most information-rich signal for these specific neurons. It's signal optimization. A still bee receives noisy, ambiguous data. A moving bee generates a perfect waveform that its brain is uniquely designed to read. The movement and the brain evolve together, a perfect feedback loop of hardware and software. This motion-driven vision goes beyond simple navigation. It fundamentally enhances pattern recognition. A stationary, flat view of a flower might be ambiguous, but by moving around it, even by millimeters, the bee gets multiple perspectives in rapid succession. This reveals the flower's true three-dimensional structure, its texture, and the subtle ultraviolet nectar guides on its petals that are invisible to us. The pattern isn't just seen, it's scanned and constructed. Modern robotics uses a similar principle called SLAM, Simultaneous Localization and Mapping, where a robot builds a map of an unknown environment while simultaneously keeping track of its own location within it.
a bee does this instinctively with a brain containing fewer than a million neurons, a feat of computational efficiency that robotics engineers are still striving to replicate. So the bee's flight isn't just a means of transportation. It is an inseparable part of its perception. It is, in a very real sense, part of its thought process. We have a tendency to think of intelligence as something that happens inside a static brain, a disembodied computer quietly solving problems. We separate the mind from the body. The bee shows us that this is a false distinction. Its intelligence is embodied. It exists in the dynamic interplay between its brain, its body, and its environment. The act of flying is the act of thinking. The calculations for navigation, landing, and foraging are not just happening in the neurons, but are being performed by the entire organism in motion. This tiny creature challenges our most basic assumptions, revealing that sometimes, to truly understand the world, you cannot stand still and look. You must move through it. Monotony has grown fast. Nearly 2,700 people have watched in the last few weeks, yet less than 0.03% are subscribed. It would mean a lot if you joined by hitting subscribe. And again, thanks for watching.